Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Who is this? Good evening, Scotty. It's uh, Dave here. Dave, lovely to hear you. Yeah, lovely to hear from you, Scotty. I must say, I'm, I'm quite a new fan of yours. I've just seen you recently, and I must say, I find you very funny. Oh, well, you're very kind, Dave. That's it. That's the first time I've been called funny. I was it's that dinky do thing you say, it just it just catches you, you know. Yo, know, dinky do is a massive, massive catchphrase. In fact, to be honest with you, um, I used to phone people and say to them, it's Scotty McClure, and they'd go, I, oh, now that rings a bell, wait a minute, and then they'd go, oh, dinky-doo! Dinky-doo, aye. So the dinky-doo well, well, was always bigger than the Scotty McClure. Aye, so, so what's the story, Scotty? I, I, I'm guessing you're a, you're a kind of, you know, you've been a radio presenter for most of your life. Most of my life, been... radio, television, newspapers, the internet, all that kind of stuff. Two billion people know Scotty McClure. I see. And were you, were you on a, a radio show yes, um, in, yes. in the past? Late, late night radio show and mid-morning radio show on big stations. Oh, I see. Like, well, I, I haven't heard of you. I think it was TikTok I seen you on. And I was ah, like, oh, that TikTok, guy is funny. The TikTok is fantastic. Yes, well, it, it, it's an okay app. I mean, there's a lot of bad stuff on there, but there's a lot of good stuff oh, as well. Oh, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of nonsense, but you're going to get that anywhere. But uh, I've been, uh, uh, you know, I really have been fated on TikTok by the people. Lovely, lovely people. Exactly, Scotty, exactly. Um, quick question I want to ask you. Yes, um, it's go something Dave. that, that bothers, bothers me quite a lot. Um, yes. Do you have an opinion on the sectarian stuff that goes on in Scotland? Yes, very, very much so. Rangers? We need to cancel the sectarianism because there's no need for it. Celtic exactly. Rangers are exactly the same religion. Exactly. Exactly, Scotty. You know, well, so well, there shouldn't that, be that, any that difference. Thing, it absolutely drives me up the wall every time I see it, and you see it every time there's an old fun game on, or every time you're around Glasgow, and it's not just Celtic and Rangers, it's all this loyalist stuff as well. It's a lot of the culture from Northern Ireland's come over to Glasgow. I mean, I, I'm, I live on the East Coast, so I'm not, you know, we don't get bothered by it, but it just, you know, pisses me off when I see the see what goes on there, and it's just, it's so pathetic and so unjustworthy. Right, well, here's what I've been saying, and you can tell me what you think about it. Uh, we can start off by saying if you're going to an old firm game, you have to go with a buddy from the other team. So if you're a Rangers man, you have to take a Celtic man in with you. Oh, really? Right, yep. Yeah. So that's what you should have. And they all stand together. You don't have separate ends. So if you've got a big poster, then you could have a Rangers guy holding one end and a Celtic guy holding the other. I think they should all sing each other's songs at the top of their voices. So I think the whole ground should sing the Fields of Atham Rye, or the whole ground should sing God Save the Queen, or whatever. And now, these are just rough examples. And uh, I also think that there should be a lot of, uh, you know, dancing and partying together. If you're found fighting at football, you get banned for life from going to the games, and you should also be jailed for a long time because that's Scotland's shame. And exactly. if, if, yeah. if none yeah. of that Scotland's works, shame. if none of that works, scrap the two teams and have Glasgow United. Oh, well, Glasgow United, now that's an idea. Well, Scotty, it's a very a very colourful idea you've got there. Um, I, I think, to be honest, it would, it would be nice to see, but I just don't see that happening. It's, it's too... It's too opposing. The, well, the, the it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. If you go to my TikTok videos, you'll see me talking about it on there. There's one we just did. At, it's only a few seconds. And I think the last time I looked, nearly 19,000 people had had a look at it. Uh, well, I, as I say, I'll, I'll have to check that out. My my problem with it all, I mean, see, I, I do I do support Celtic, um, but I'm completely unbiased when it comes to the... Mon the like, hoops, and I, and we I, say, and we are the people. Yeah, I, I guarantee if I was a Rangers fan, I would feel the exact same way. See, I, I do have a massive... I mean, I've I still got plenty of trouble with what, what Celtic fans do. When you, when you hear Celtic fans talking about the IRA... You know, people have got nothing to do with Ireland. Nothing to do with it. football. Nothing exactly. to do with exactly. football. Exactly, it's nothing to do with football, but that doesn't stop people. And yeah. it, it always well, they need much, to learn to not be doing that. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. But I see, to be honest, myself, I see a lot worse from the Rangers side. And I, a lot, of, you know, people say they're just as bad as each other. 
But as far as I'm concerned, they're not. As far well, as I'm what concerned, we might do, here's another suggestion I had, that we ask Her Majesty the Queen in her 70th year of her reign to, uh, you know, grant the prefix royal to both Rangers and Celtic. So you have the Royal Rangers and the Royal Celtic. Aye, but that wouldn't fit with the Celtic because uh, the Celtic are Republicans. Hey, the listen, of listen, Dave. Never mind that that wouldn't fit. That's what your problem, your sectarianism doesn't fit. So we have to take action to make it fit. Well, I don't, I just don't think, the problem is, I mean, as, as you're saying, it's definitely, it's nothing to do with Scotland, it's nothing to do with football, completely no. agreed. The problem is, it, it, it's just gone too far. The Rangers, the problem is, I, the problem I have is with Rangers, because the whole, they've got Protestant, I, I understand their club was founded by Protestants, um, and therefore... Yeah, but that's of, nothing to do with, the club was founded by Christians, and so was Celtic, so they should both I be their, their, their brethren. But people are so small-minded. Ah, small -minded and they, now they you're getting that. down to it. It's the small-mindedness. Religion has never, ever, ever caused a problem. What causes a problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding of religion. Oh, exactly. And see these people. See these people on the ranger side, on the, on the loyalist side. They don't have a clue what they're talking about. I, I'm a big history fan, me, and I could tell you all about the Battle of the Boyne and William of Orange. Well, None you of them know could... that, that, that King Billy was a very, very bad man. Well, he was. I mean, he started, look at it. He, was, he had no right to the throne. He was a Protestant, so the English people wanted him to Well, no, over. that's not... No right that's he, stole, not... He, stole, he stole the throne. Well, no, he didn't actually. He was invited because his wife was oh, the daughter the of the James Catholic the James II, and he was invited so that you could move from con from um, absolute monarchy to constitutional monarchy. He was, I and mean, I understand that to an extent because, the, uh, uh, to be honest, the majority of the British Isles or the majority of Great Britain certainly welcomed him, just the Catholics didn't. But let's jump a little further, go back to go over to Queen Anne when she died. It was an absolute abomination because they gave the throne to King George the First, who was a German who didn't even speak English, and he was distant cousin to Queen Anne. Her own brother was the most direct heir. The Hanoverians, yeah, but Queen Anne, Queen Anne was a baddie as well, although she was a Stuart. She was the one that forced us into union. Well, yes, I mean, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a staunch supporter of, of you know, the, the Jacobites, um, and I definitely would have fought for them if I was alive back in the day, because it was the rightful cause. Dave, uh, I'm going to have to dash, but this is a quality call. Uh, well, maybe I'll call you another time, Scott, you, and we can delve into it. You'd better. I look forward to it. Loved talking to you, and dinky do. Dinky do. <laughs> there we are. That's Dave. What a fantastic call. Amazing. Absolutely interesting. There'd be civil war if Celtic were named Royal. Oh, the Rangers. Uh, on the tonic wine tonight, big man. Are you? Well, not too much of it. It's Sharon from Kilboki again. Love you, Scotty. Thank you, do. How much longer is this live? About two more minutes, Ewan. And then we're going to have to dash off. But uh, what a fantastic show tonight, guys. Woo!